In this video, my friend Dancodes and I asked ChatGPT to generate 10 ideas to make in Roblox Studio. However, there's a catch. We have to spin a wheel 5 times and script whatever it lands on. Without further ado, here's the video. Alright, so now we're gonna spin the wheel. Are you ready, Dan? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, here we go. And what do we got? Develop a gravity... Uh, develop, be, develop a gravity changing device that alters the player's movement. Alright. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I think I already have an idea of what I'm gonna make. Alright. Alright, so for mine, it was actually really simple. What I did is, in this gravity script, uh, I just got the keybinder module I made, and I got this right here, and I made this myself, but basically this is how I detect if the player presses E, or any key for that matter. Uh, and then, I just bind that uh, like function right here to this, so whenever they press E, it calls this function, and then we get the humanoid, and the root, and the force, and we check if the humanoid exists and if uh, then if their health is you know greater than zero if they're alive yes yeah, so now if we just press play then what I'm gonna do is press E and as you see I go up and the gravity works I go back down by pressing E I go back down and I'm just gonna fly up gravity's working it may be a little too fast but I can always change it by just lowering like the values right here Anyways, now it's time to go see what Dan did. So I think this works now. So here's the normal jump height and the gravity jump height and you can toggle it via the button. But I didn't put the cooldown but uh, whatever my time's up so I have to I, I just have to stop. All right so, all right so let's see what you did. Show me okay. What you did. Okay so I made a gravity switch. So basically whenever oh. you Whenever you click, it'll switch your gravity to low gravity. But if you click again, then it'll switch back to normal gravity. So oh, okay. I, I forgot to switch the tool grip. <laughs> oh, that's cool though, that's cool. I think that's better than mine. Yeah. So, <laughs> what do you uh, mean, yeah? <laughs> speaking of that, let me see yours. All right. So what I did for mine is I, I just made it so if you press E, it uh, like makes your force and like your root part it go up. So it like switches gravity. So if like, it doesn't make just like gravity zero, but like if you press E, oh, it switches it gravity. Switches gravity. Uh, oops, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I changed something bad. Uh, let me just make that 10. Five minutes later. All right, technical difficulties, but it's fine. Uh, so now if we go in here and then we press E, as you can see, it switches oh. our gravity, and we go flying up, and we can press E again to go back down. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. And it just changes gravity, it's it's alright. Anyways, yeah. on to the next challenge. I hate this one. Before we continue, I need to tell you about my Discord server. We have a friendly and helpful community of Roblox developers, and you could be in one of these videos. Anyways, let's get back to the challenge. 
All right, so now it's time for the next spin. So let's see what we get. You ready, Dan? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, it's what are we gonna, gonna be? Get? Teleporter? What? Build a teleporter? teleporter? Build a teleport pad that moves teleport the player pad. to predefined locations in the game. Oh, that's really easy. All right. Yeah, All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go do it. All right. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm thinking for the teleport pad is super easy. I'm just going to create a cylinder so it looks like, you know, like at least a good teleporter pad. And then I'll just make this a group, call this a teleporter, a uh, teleport one. And then I'll make another one over here and I'll call this teleport two. And then I'll just change the color to red so you know it is the other teleporter. Now I'm going to group these together and name these teleporters or just teleports, I guess. Add a script, I'm going to make it run on the client. go that should be perfect now we should be able to teleport without any issues we teleport in and it goes perfectly teleport out it goes perfectly also all right cool so that's all we need to do to make these teleporters work all right now let's go see what dan codes did okay so making a teleport pad should be pretty easy i mean all you just have to do is like you know teleport the player so i'm gonna make a model call it teleporter i'm going to make another actually i'm just gonna make a part which is i'm gonna call this one teleporter one okay that looks pretty nice but i think i'm gonna add particles to it as well so let's just add a particle emitter yeah that looks nice so i assume that you'll want them to switch back and forth let's do a script model Okay, so my, my teleporters, I put, uh, you know, particles on them. And wow, that's uh, beautiful. It, yeah, I know. And if you just, like, walk into it, it teleports you. Whoa. I know. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How long did that take? Like, uh, however many minutes it was. Uh, like, 20? Um, okay. <laughs> you ready to see mine? Yeah. Alright, alright. Alright, so for mine, uh, I basically just made two teleporters, right? Red and blue. Okay, so they're like, uh, tiny teleport pads? Yep. And then, uh, then you go right here and you can walk through it. And... Well, that works a lot better than mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's way better. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go, there we go. Uh, so that's, that's the teleporter. All right, on to the next challenge. All right, Dan, you ready? Time to spin the wheel again. Yeah, 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 just spin it. Uh, first, we actually gotta delete this one. Uh, all right, there we go. All right, here we go. All right, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, create a simple A. Create a simple. <laughs> what do we get? Create a simple animation for a character, oh, such as a dancer wave. All right, uh, um, that's easy. Let's go ahead and do that then. Alright, so what I'm gonna do for this is I'm going to use Moon Animator to actually animate it. So I'm gonna click on this rig, make sure the primary part is set to humanoid root part, otherwise it won't work. And there we go. Okay, now I'll make him dab. We're going back to 2016 with this one. Now what we have to do is add a local script into starter character scripts.
Alright, so now, as you can see, <laughs> we're able to dab, it looks so bad. But, hey, it works, so I think I will take that as a win. It doesn't look that good, but now let's go see what Dan did. Okay, so I have a little bit of experience with animating. I guess I'll try to make it in R15, because I've never done that before. I'm going to go back to my gravity switch and actually make a local script. It's so bad. Honestly, it's like good. Okay, so I made an animation for my gravity switch button. It's gonna, it's gonna look really weird, yeah. but whenever you press the button, it Boink. makes you, it makes you <laughs> press you press the button, and it it works. It works. I know. It looks awesome. All right, let now I'll show you my part. Let me see. All right, so here's what I did. It's actually really, uh, really, really good. So when you press F, okay. <laughs> I think his arm is broken. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with his arm. I think he's just trying to dab. You made him do it. Bro. <laughs> all right, I never said going? I'm an animator. All right. <laughs> but why is his arm going for <laughs> 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 Dude, I honestly have no clue, dude. Don't ask me. <laughs> All right. It looks like he's crying. On to the next challenge. All right, Dan, you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's uh, remove the last one real quick. It was like the last one was a little bit weird. Pretty simple animation, yeah. It's it pretty weird. Anyways, uh, you ready? Let's spin it. Whoa. What are we gonna get? Design a door opening system. Design a door opening system activated by pressing a button. Oh, that's that's easy peasy. I make those all the time. All right, you do? let's do it. All right. all right, so for the door system, this should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna create a module script named door, and then I'm going to make it object oriented. So I'm gonna do local door equals table, and then door.index equals door, and then I'm gonna return door. Okay, it's time to make a door. Now, I've actually never made a door before, so this is going to be my first time. Now, if I open and close it, it should, could load, should work. So it opens and it closes. Nice. Alright, let's see what you made. I made 
you know, a door, and it All opens, right. and it closes. That's pretty cool. And it uses a proximity prompt. Yeah. I mean, it's, right. pretty, it's pretty simple. Yeah, that's a lot of code. It's what we need. <laughs> that's a lot of variables. Alright, uh, you wanna see mine? Yeah. Alright, so what I did is I made a door module here, and you can create a new door object, and then all these functions right here control the door. So all I need is one script for each one uh, that just creates a new door. It has like the basic functionality and all. It could actually make this a lot easier to use, but for now I just uh, cloned them all. And then they work, so you could just go in, toggle it and stuff, and there we go. So you can open and close it, stuff like that. And it works for any size of the door, even this size. So yeah, there it is. Alright, here we go, here we go. You ready? Just implement the coin. Okay, let's see what it lands on. We got... Looks like design a button. Design a button, eh? Design a button activated bridge that extends when pressed and retracts after some time. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's make it. Alright, so for the bridge, I'll probably need a model for the actual bridge, so let's just go ahead and create one. And then we'll drag this down here. Name this uh, bridge. Make it not able to collide with bridge, but it can collide with default. Well, now we just need to make it a little bit less, like 300 maybe, so it doesn't go so fast. So we'll do that. Goes up, and then should go back down. There we go. It's pretty bad, but it's gonna work. So I think I'm going to reuse some of the code from my door, but I'm going to turn it into a bridge. So I'll just like rotate it and then I'm going to delete the second part of the door. So there's only door number one and then I'll make door number one longer. So it's just like, actually, no, I want it to just be like this. So I guess I can put like a part here and then uh, I'll move it up. Now, I'm gonna like anchor this because it's gonna be like the bridge base. So like this is where the bridge is coming from. Let's just scale this. And this is gonna be the bridge. Okay, so now I just need to change some of this data. So I only need like a few tweens. So I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna delete this. So I'm gonna have to use C frame and size. Tween door one close. So, as you can see here, I have a, a bridge, and, uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty, uh, what? Uh, well, you're not supposed to be able to push that. But, yeah, it basically just extends out, it plays a noise, and you oh, can walk cool. across it, and it closes. Alright, nice. Yep, that's about it. Alright, you wanna see mine? Yeah. Alright, so for mine, I just made this a script that just changes the force of a vector force, and it uses a hinge, like a real drawbridge. So, here we go, I'll show you what it does. So, right now, it, you know, it's not that good, but it goes up, and it, you know, it props up, right? And then, yeah. you'll see in a second that it actually falls, like, back down. Yeah, it's like a real bridge. You should have, like... I mean, I could just, like, you know, I could add a part under it. Alright, whatever, I don't get it. Anyways, it works, though. So that's fine in yeah. my book. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.